hello guys how are you all doing hope it's a good day for all of you i've got a lot of questions on the exchange 22 app how it exactly functions what the features are so i thought i'll create a short walkthrough for you this is the english walkthrough i'm also going to create another one in hindi i'll attach the link of that in the description too so just in case agar aapko english nahi samajh aati aap hindi mein wo video dekh sakte ho uska link bhi main description mein dalunga so let's get started First up, where can you download this app? You can download the app from the description. I've attached the link of the app. That is the first link that you can see. So you can download it from there. You will get some bonus and rewards upon using the link. So go ahead and do that. Now, how does this game exactly work? First up, when you click on a specific game, you can see two options. You can see one option called buy and sell and you can see another option called multi bagger. Now, what is the difference in both of them? What do I exactly use? I'll tell you that too. So buy and sell is when you buy a player if you feel like the player is going to perform well in the match or you sell a player if you feel like he might not do as well in the game. That is the whole system. So and how does it exactly work for you? When you buy a player example, I am buying Charita Salanka for rupees 30 like you can see here. So now if Charit Asalanka in the game crosses 30 points then what so example he gets 42 points in the game then whatever over and above rupees 30 is my profit so you can see here for example I'm adding one share of Asalanka this is I'm buying the player like you can see above so when I buy the player plus they have a small platform fee that platform fee can get excluded with all the bonus and all that you get so that's why I was insisting you should use the link below now here you can see the effective buy price is 31 and example Charita Salanka gets 44 points in the game hence whatever he gets over and above this buy price is your profit so if you have bought one share you will get whatever 12 13 rupees extra if you buy 10 shares then whatever the profit per share so 12 into 10 you will get 120 rupees extra that is the whole system of how this app works. Now that is the buy part of it. The sell part of it is the other part. Now how does the sell part work? In the sell part, example, I feel like Charita Salanka is not going to get more than 26 points in the game. Maybe I'm assuming he's going to get only 10 or 12 points. What I can do is I can sell the player. How can I do that? You click on the sell button, click on sell now. Here you can see the effective sell price. But here keep in mind that your profit, your if he crosses 26 points, then it's a loss for you. But if he does not cross 26 points, then it is a profit for you. Now, I don't use the sell feature as of, of, often as the buy feature because in case example, if the sell price is 25 and he crosses 50 points, then it's like all my money gone. But in the case of buy, even if he if it's a buy of 30 rupees and he gets 15 points, I will still get some recovery back. I'll show you uh, that there, there was one example recently where I used the sell. It's currently I guess it's not. Yeah, OK, it is listed here. So here you can see I felt like Andre Russell would not cross the specific price and hence I sold him. So here you can see the initial sell price for him was rupees 40 and I felt like he's not going to cross 40 points and hence I sold him and he ended up getting like you can see final price of only 6 which means he got only 6 points in the game and hence I got a net profit of rupees 34 per share. That is how the system works. On the other hand when you buy here you can see I thought that again here he's going to get only 46 odd points and the buy price was rupees 30 and hence I bought the player because I felt like he's going to give me a profit. This was one of the great games where total investment was I got like more close to double of my winning. So that was a really good game for me and uh, good amount of points when you sell a player and if it works for you, you get a good amount of points. And that is one part of it. There's a second part here is called insurance. What is insurance? Now there's a ceiling cap to the profit that you can get. So for example, when you have bought Charita Salanka for 30 and he has crossed 60 points, whatever points he gets after 60, you will not get a profit on that because obviously the it would be a heavy loss for the company. But if you insure the player and if he crosses more than double, you will still end up getting the relevant point. So for example, I bought one share of Asalanka with insurance, then my effective price is 35. Now if he crosses 70 points, for example, which is the double, if he gets 100 points in the game, 
then I will get 65 rupees profit per share if I have insured that specific player. But if you have not insured the player, then you will not get that profit. So keep that in mind. If you have insured, if you have not insured the player, then you will get the profit only till 70 points. After 70 points, how many ever he scores, it will not matter to you. Even in that case, though, you will get double the money. Now, insurance is a feature that I use slightly more sparingly as it makes it slightly risky and more expensive for the player. So only when I'm damn sure I use the insurance feature and keep in mind that the insurance feature can be used only up to 30 minutes prior before the after like after the deadline is like you reach close to 30 minutes of the game you cannot use the insurance feature another thing for you to keep in mind is you cannot buy more than 49 shares of a specific player once it's closer to the deadline of the game so as soon as this basically this specific timer once it reduces to 30 or lesser minutes you cannot use insurance one and second is you cannot buy more than 49 shares per player even though 49 is a lot of quantity so Generally, I don't end up buying that much. I, that is only when I'm damn, damn sure about a player. Now, for example, if Chamika Karuna Ratne is bowling first, you know he's going to give you batting value too. So hence, in those scenarios, you can do some heavy buying. But yes, that is something you can do only post the toss. It's difficult for you to predict who's going to bowl first and bat first. And hence, unless when you're damn sure about a specific player working in both, both innings, only then you buy them and keep in advance. Else, you can wait till the toss happens or you can just buy in a small quantity so that you remember and then when you when the toss happens you can bump up the quantity based on the toss so that is the buy and sell feature apart from that they have a multi-bagger feature much easier to understand but much more difficult to crack basically the multi-bagger feature works in this way that example i buy asalanka now here the price of the share is only rupees 10 per share and the return is 11.87%. Now, why and how? Basically, in the multi-bagger, I need to predict that which player is going to get the highest points in the game. Obviously, that is much, much more difficult to predict than predicting the total points of the player and will they cross the buy price or the sell price. And hence, the return here is much heavier. You can see 11.87%, 19.13%, 22, 22 times rather than percent, sorry. So yeah, the more unlikely the player is to be a multi-bagger, the less the times of return. While you can see someone like Hasaranga is more likely to switch 6.6 .6 times. But uh, this is slightly more risky. I don't use this as much. But when you're damn sure that, okay, today, this uh, maybe Karuna Ratne is bowling first, so you're really confident that he can get three plus wickets and he can be your multi-bagger, then fair enough, you can go ahead and use that specific system. And that is how it basically works. Now, what is the point system of this specific app? Let's look at that too. So here you can see this is the point system of the Exchange 22 app. Their investing features currently not live. It's only trading and they have different sports. They have football, basketball, kabaddi, but obviously I'll focus on the cricket. Now, like you can see here, this is the point system for, and I, and I use this more for T20 and ODI, not as much for test matches because the I feel like the point system is slightly weird for that so i don't really use it too much for test matches only t20 odi and the 100 i've been using it for now what is the point system it's pretty similar to dream 11 for one run one point for everyone scored one boundary scored one point if it's a six then two bonus points very similar to dream 11 not much of difference half century bonus century bonus you can read through this and figure it out only one major difference here is that the wickets you get only 20 points for a wicket in 100 in T20, while in ODIs you get 25 points. So obviously that increases the value of the bowlers in ODIs and they don't have any strike rate and economy points and all of that. It's only wickets and bonus for the number of wickets. That is the only criterion and yes, they have the fielding points, the catches, the runouts. Again, all of it pretty similar to Dream 11 stumping. So yeah, it's not too much of difference in terms of the point system except for one or two minute changes. If you read through it here, you will be able to figure it out. So that is the point system done. They also have this interesting thing called the leaderboard. So here you can see they have different tiers of leaderboards based on the amount of investment that you do. You are eligible for all different tiers based on the amount of investment per game. This we'll cover in another video, but I hope that this video helped you understand how you can actually use this app and make profit out of it by buying and spelling, selling specific players. 
if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments and i hope that this video could help all of you thank you so much for tuning in